They're an organization of bikers. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. You know, they're from down now, and they have the Rock and Roll Sunday. Yeah, they've been yes. here. Oh, they yeah. were the greatest. <laughs> oh, I love those oh. guys, and yeah. which is so great to be hooked up. Because I came at the tail end of the Vietnam era. Yeah. I wasn't, I mean, I won't even go. My draft number was 250, but, I, you know, a lot of my <laughs> friends went. Yeah. Know, a lot of my mm -hmm. good friends went. And they came back, and they suffered so gravely, and they, they really are the forgotten ones. That's one yeah. of the things yeah. that I've noticed down in, in South Florida here. There's not just a few or a handful of veteran groups. There's a lot of Tons. veterans groups. There's there a lot of them. When you 54 to be exact. 54? We just count, 54, 56. We just yeah. counted them the other day. Mm -hmm. Different veterans organization, which is Yeah, between phenomenal. you got the, what's a veteran support group is one. Oh, You've got the, the uh, um, Forgotten Soldiers. Forgotten mm -hmm. Soldiers Another is one. great. Yeah, well, I, fact, I volunteered we, with them uh, in the past. Uh, at, at, um, I Linnell. think was that a, it might have been at a garlic festival, as a matter of Linnell. fact. Linnell is the and, coordinator. Uh, and She's we, the founder. So my wife and I sat in one of the booths, uh, collect, you know, shaking the can, collecting mm -hmm. the change for them. But they're fantastic. And yeah. they, they put packages mm -hmm. together and send it out. It's all the stuff that you wouldn't mm -hmm. think of. That's right. Mm -hmm. you know, well, they have a tremendous tissues, operation. You know. They have a warehouse right here in Lake Worth. Yes, they do. And yeah. the, oh, let me, i got to give what? It I wasn't that long ago that they were looking, they had, had lost uh, the lease on the place that they were at. And they were looking for a new location. Mm -hmm. And they were out just as we're looking for a location. Wow. They were looking for one. And someone managed to come through for them. Well, we might have a lead for you after the show. I'll give you a, a good name for someone. I, might, it might be able to help you. Uh, we, we appreciate that. You know, Claude, but the, we, let's let me just want address one thing. We do have to give a nice shout out to Forgotten. We have an official alliance with them, and Linnell, and actually the CEO Bob Nichols, mm -hmm. who we call Sir Bob, and we've coined a phrase. Sir yes, Bob. We, Sir Bob, because he's a <laughs> prince and knight among men. I know I'm really serious, and I'm not saying that for any you know egotistical anything that we get from them, but they've really helped us a lot, and we like I said, the, for, they do to ship these care packages like you were mentioning, and they ship them all over the world. People don't realize it's not just Iraq, Afghan. You could send one to your son in Hawaii or a person mm -hmm. in Hawaii. They're but they're a fantastic organization. If anybody ever comes across their organization, please try to help them because they really do a lot of really neat things. But Bob Nichols and I coined a phrase that we built on it's our brother organizations, and i got to expound it to you. It ain't about you. It ain't about me. It's all about them is the soldiers. Because a lot of the organizations in our arena, they try to compete with each other. Yeah. And I told that man first off, the first conversation I had with him, I said, me, you gonna get along? And I wanna get along. Because we had already built this tremendous relationship with the Silver Star Families of America, who is really, really big. And so we developed this philosophy, and that's what I'm saying, it ain't about you, it ain't about me, it's all about them. And he says, you know what, I like that. So they're a tremendous organization. If you ever see them out and about, y'all help them. Yeah. And, and those organizations should work together. They should yeah. have competition. Absolutely. Right, it's ridiculous. I mean, yeah. you've got to keep your eye on You're the main goal You're looking at the, same, the same cause, the same goal. Right. Exactly. That's what you've got to focus on that. I concur wholeheartedly. Anytime you ever, we ever can have help someone, we get some phone calls. I mean, I got a phone call from Ohio the other day saying, you know, hey, can we help a soldier in Ohio? I said, sure, as long as he goes to the voluntary services leader <laughs> at yeah. his local VA, yeah. I'd be happy to help him. So that's just kind of how we roll, and it's been a great journey. It really has. Well, as long as we're doing shout-outs, I can't, I can't mm -hmm. forget to do a shout-out to my friends Ed and Stacy Napolitano, who I interviewed in here a couple of months ago for their efforts with Welcome Home Warrior. Wow. What they do is they organize, um, you know, they organize people to come when, when they find out when a soldier is oh, not the only coming home. Yes, at the yeah, airport. Yeah, I've yeah. been to one of those. Uh -huh. they're, they're great. I've been, to, I've been to a few of them now, and... Oh, God, it's just such a great feeling to it be is. there. But in addition to that, they also organize those for when they're deploying, which I think is mm. important. Nobody really thinks, you know, didn't yeah. really think of it that way, but they try to send, um, they try to get people together to also give a good send-off and wish them well. So oh, yeah. I, I flew to, um, I think it was to New Jersey one time. I had a layover in Charlotte. And uh, sitting at the, in the, uh, the terminal, and it was, a, 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 um, I think it was a sailor who was coming home. And he had a group of about 20 people waiting for him at the gate. Oh, and he came off, and they had the they all had the flags and everything there. So everyone in the terminal was looking. <laughs> After he got off and they started, the entire terminal joined in. Wow. wow. Everyone. This guy had about 600 people standing <laughs> on two sides <laughs> as he and his family walked down the center of the aisle with all these people. They, they had it right. Uh, you know, you have all the little the, the uh, shops and the magazine shops. Yeah, yeah. This row of people right down the middle. Oh, that's they great. formed two rows for him. 
Wow. The walk-off. They didn't know who he was, no. but he was coming back from somewhere. Yeah, there's always oh, somebody coming back at West Palm. I mean, not always, but a lot mm-hmm. that come through to West Palm Beach yeah. International Airport. We were yeah. we were privileged to be there when uh, this young man came back, and I always oh, excuse me, it's been oh, I guess maybe two years ago when we first started. We got a call to come up and support that, and so the mm-hmm. reporter asked him, "What's the first thing you want?" He said, "You want some home cooking?" He says, "No, my mother's a terrible cook. I want a steak." <laughs> <laughs> so I reached in my pocket and gave him a Publix gift card. For fifty dollars, which I'd already brought for him anyway, because right. that's all we had at the time. And I said, "Here, you go buy you the biggest steak that you can find." He says, "Oh, thank you, because my mother's not a good cook at all." <laughs> so we, yeah, support those people cute. when they come back. Oh, that's absolutely. real important. And just to let everyone know, Ed and Stacy, we we they organize these events at Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and and West nice. Palm. I mean, they cover all of South Florida. Yeah. And, um, in fact, one of them that I was at, I mean, the guy was coming home at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning, and they were worried, you know, obviously because of the time that they weren't going to get a good crowd. We had over 100 people wow. at the airport. I mean, for that time of day, it was amazing. And what was really cute was kind of, like, similar to your story, John, that you just told. We were there for the one guy, um, I think his name was Shane, who was coming home. But what we didn't realize were there were, like, three other veterans on the plane. And mm. so th- those three happened to come out before he did, and they were just – the looks on their faces, I mean, they were just completely, I mean, I don't think yeah. Shane really knew either, but it was just really neat to be able to, without yeah. knowing that it was gonna, we were going to end up welcoming home four, it was like a nice bonus. And that's what that. happened to the gentleman off the plane so. in Charlotte. He, he literally, he, you know, he hugged his mom and his dad and, you know, I think it was just like his brother and sister were there. And, and then he, he began to notice there was more going on. <laughs> and yeah. he had this, this deer in the headlights look as he looked around at all of these people standing there applauding him. Yeah. And he had this look like, what did I do? <laughs> did yeah, I just hit the yeah. lottery? You know, that's what I tell people. I says, any time you see a soldier in uniform, go out of your way just to say three or four little words. Thank you for your service. Mm-hmm. And so, that's the contradiction in the terms of what you were just saying about the Vietnam era. And right. they have forgotten. But you don't know how much that means to a guy that's in uniform. It's the best... You, he'd rather have that than you give him a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. I went into uh, a Walgreens mm-hmm. to buy some some uh, greeting cards, and I went in. I got the cards and walked up to the counter, not thinking anything at all, and, and paid for it. And the lady said, "Thank you," and she pointed to her forehead. And I thought, well, that's kind of odd that she would say thank you and point to her head. And then I realized I had my veteran's cap on. Right. She just said thank you, yeah. and I was like, wow, you know, <laughs> it's my pleasure. And yeah. it took me about a half a second to figure it out, but I was like, oh, okay. It's those little things like that that sure. mean so much to you, that, that bring yeah. you back and make you remember. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I saw a guy publish it, and I said, thank you for your service. And he said, he looked at me, and he says, wow, that was really nice. And so it, that really does mean a lot to these guys. Mm-hmm. And, there's a, and, you know, a lot of people that are in airports, and there's a lot of soldiers in the airports, and everybody's in a hurry. But right. it just takes that w- how long? Ten seconds. Exactly. Just to say thank you for your service. We appreciate you. Just something to acknowledge what they've done. Absolutely. And, you know, 